He has already left his dressing room, so we'll not be able to see him. He's on his way down to the ring, and the crowd is making a lot of noise about it. Standy, you'll remember, had his big day as he goes into the ring on May 25th, 1972. Omaha, Nebraska, fighting Joe Frazier for the heavyweight championship of the world. And Joe Frazier, after four reasonable rounds, demolished him in the fifth. Now you're looking at Kenny Norton in his dressing room. Kenny Norton, who had his big, big hey, day of it yeah. in May. Or back in March 31st, 1973, forgive me, at the San Diego Arena. That was the day he stunned the world when he fractured Ali's jaw and won a split decision over Ali, which Ali later avenged. And then disaster struck him, Kenny Norton, in March of 1974 at Caracas, Venezuela, when George Foreman and Norton seemed transfixed that day, almost paralyzed. Foreman knocked Norton out in the second round. Ever since, he's been coming back, and he's been biding his time, hoping for a shot at Ali, which he expects to get later this year because he has been a difficult fighter, as noted, for Ali in the prior two decisions, which he split with the champion. In the meantime, the one big thing he's done since the Norton fight was against Jerry Quarry, and that was in 1975 when he knocked out Jerry Quarry and forced Jerry Quarry once and for all to finally retire. Right. Yes. All right. Round one underway, as you can see. Kenny Norton against Ron Stander. They're scoring this fight on the five-point must system per round. It has a mandatory eight count. Three knockdowns of a fighter in one round will end the fight. There's no saving by the bell. Stander in the red trunks, the white fighter. Kenny Norton in the blue velvet with the white trim, the black fighter. Kenny Norton, once a sparring partner of Joe Frazier. But much more than that now. Looking at Stander's body, you can see that he's got too much weight. Plain truth about this man is he is a journeyman fighter. He once had dreams like all fighters do. Somehow they linger because what else can he do at this stage? He's 31, Kenny Norton's 30. See Norton get that left in there. Stander lost two out of three fights in 74. Won three out of five in 75. He cuts quickly. His face is red right now, and there's a cut over his left eye. This won't go long at all. Stander flailing away, but Kenny Norton doing the damage. And Stander, a veritable punching bag, very quickly. This is round one of a scheduled 12 round. It won't go that or anything like it. Norton's just heating up on it. Stand is, is a chubby body now. This is the merest kind of prep for what Ali, or rather what Norton hopes, will be the ultimate fight against Ali. He won't have to show his real style in this bout, not against the likes of Stander, but he, Norton is a difficult fighter to contend with because he is an awkward fighter. If we can move our cameras down, he keeps his back leg in the bucket. And his body is always at an angle to you, a hard target to hit. See his back leg always in the bucket. We approach the end of round one. Kenny Norton against Ron Stander, and overwhelmingly, Norton thus far. The bell for round two, the action gets underway. Kenny Norton is managed by Bob Byron, trained by Bill Slayton. Once Eddie Futch did that job. Eddie, of course, with Joe Frazier. There you go, there you go. Referee is a veteran, Harry Caccini. The judges, Larry Barrett and Terry Moore. They all vote.
It's a big ring there in. A ring that'll have memories for right, Ali. It's the ring that was used in Lewiston, Maine, back in May of 65 at the St. Dominic's Arena. When Ali shot the invisible punch, he called it the anchor punch, caught to him by Stephen Fetch. And Liston got a 24 count from a bemused referee who happened to be Jersey Joe Walcott. You're hearing the referee from time to time because we've got a mic on. There you go, there you go. Right back, right back. No holding, Sammy, no holding. There you go. Right back, right back. Wild swinging by Ron Stanley. The left eye is open again. It had been worked on between rounds. Lawton is a careful workman in the ring. He works an opponent. He's not going to risk getting hit himself. Some of Stander's blood is on Norton's left cheek, under the eye. Don't be misled if you can see it. It is not a cut on Norton. All right, step back. Step off on We have the countdown in round two. And the best that can be said is it's not over yet. Or maybe that's the worst. Look at that. Just sitting duck. Kenny covers up effectively. Nine in succession, Standers staggering backward, almost the end of round two. <clears throat> We're back at Capitol Center, Landover, Maryland at ringside, round three of the scheduled 12 rounder between Kenny Norton and Ron Stander. Ron Stander, the near obese one to the right of your screen, of course, now is back to you. First two rounds, mere exercise for Ken Norton. It's interesting that Ron Stander, when he was lighter and a little younger, knocked out Ernie Shavers. Would you believe that? Not that Shavers is a good fighter either. But Shavers did knock out Jimmy Young once in the first round. Later, the two fought a draw. That's the weakest aspect of Jimmy Young's record. Still to come is the Ali Young fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. Well, you gotta, you've got to give Stander credit for guts. They've closed up the cut over the left eye again, working on it assiduously between rounds. Stander trying to cover. Norton measuring and connecting. Right through the guard. Left, right, left, right. Combinations pouring in on Stander. Moving down to the midsection when Stander covers. Ken Norton, a workmanlike professional now. In his own words, getting better and better. Still hard to explain what happened to him in the Caracas caper against Foreman. March 26, 1974. You heard the referee, Harry Caccini, say step back. He's looking at the eye, calling for medical opinion. Mercifully, this thing may end. How do you feel? Good, Stan, you say. If it gets any worse, the medical examiner told Harry Caccini, the referee, stop it immediately. If it gets any worse, it's a mess. Blood is pouring out from over the eye, blinding the fighter. Norton is working methodically on it. It's not a pretty scene. Get off of it's me. the way it is in boxing. Got into that eye again. Harry Caccini's got to take another look at that left eye of Ron Stander. He's separating them now and not stopping the fight. All right, stop punching. Here 
We're counting down to the end of round three. The pictures that speak for themselves. Norton in a punching exercise. They are letting the fight continue. The bell for round four. Norton against Stander. And I understand I've got a hook up to the heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali, in his dressing room. Muhammad, this yeah. is an exercise for Kenny because he wants you. Well, it's not really exercise. It looks easy, but it's hard work. This man is hitting hard. He could hit Kenny. He could butt him or cut him. So it's not as easy as it looks, Howard. All right, accepting that, Norton wants you. He's a workmanlike fighter, and he gave you two tough well, goes. He, he shall get me very soon. I am the greatest fighter of all times. Norton has never been the champion. I've been the champion for years. I'm ranked with the greatest, and uh, when this man meets me, my hands are not hurting like they were the first two times. This time, I shall knock him out cold because I'm going to do him like George Foreman did, and like I did Frazier, I'm going to be hitting hard. Okay. The first two times I was not hitting hard. I was dancing and running. Nova came was in my right, hands. My hands were hurting, but now I'm ready. All right, let's get back to this fight. Stead, Stander's eye is gone again. Muhammad, thank you. Good luck in your bout against Jimmy Young. Stander's left eye is bleeding profusely again. It's the cut above the eye. When the cut's above the eye, as I've often noted, it pours into the eye and blinds the fighter. A cut below the eye, a fighter can continue indefinitely. You see the quickness of Norton's punching there, the combinations. Wild swinging by Stander, and now trying to cover up, Norton moves down to the midsection when there's no other recourse. This is what I mean by a professional fighter. Underrated by all of us in the beginning, Although I must confess that some of what Ali said is true, he did have a damaged right hand when he fought Norton the first time. Harry Caccini telling Norton to keep his punches up. Norton apologizing to Stan. This is fourth round action. And it's been a bloodbath for Ron Stan. Just falling forward, leaning on Norton. An occasional wild swing. The end of the round approaching. Same pattern. Round five underway. Yes, the fight's still on, believe it or not. In case you joined us late, after this fight, we'll have the heavyweight championship fight, Muhammad Ali against Jimmy Young. This fight has been, in effect, target practice for Ken Norton early on in the first round. He drew blood and much of it from above Stander's left eye. Stander, as you can see, appears to be overweight. and Oh, that right, got right to him, right through the guard and stung him. He's now just trying to cover up. Not moving down to the midsection. Medical examiner examined the eye in the third round, said let it go no further if the eye gets worse. But so far, Harry Caccini, the referee, has not seen fit to stop. continues. Kenny would like to put an end to it, but so far hasn't been able to. That's it. Finally, Harry Caccini stops the fight. Ron Stander was just above us. We've been under him in his corner, blood pouring down from his face, and just really too bad. So one-sided from the very beginning, and this could have been expected from the very beginning because there's nothing in Ron Stander's record ever since the loss to Frazier in May of 72 that would lead one to, be the, to believe that he could be a testing challenge. Right now, after this pause for station identification, we'll be back with more exclusive coverage of the heavyweight fight telecast. Kenny, a workmanlike job, a prep fight, 
for Ali. That's what you are after, nothing but. Well, that's very true. My primary goal in life right now is to fight Ali again. And it is what Ali has, not his title. What troubles me is you've been waiting so long. Can you keep an edge fighting the likes of Ron Stander, Pedro Lavelle back in January, fighters like these? Well, I think so, yes. Plus, I have very good sparring partners in the gym. And uh, I'm working hard in the gym, and when I fight occasionally, uh -huh. it's just enough to keep me tuned, I think. One other question. I was talking with Muhammad Ali. In a minute, we'll look at the last round of the fight. Ali was talking to me from his dressing room as you were fighting, and he says next time he'll knock you out. He fought you with a damaged right hand the last time. Well, it's always an excuse, and I feel that uh, talk is nothing. He's going to have to prove it to me. And uh, also, I think I'm becoming a better fighter. My fighting career isn't as long as Ali's. And uh, each day I'm learning, each time I watch someone fight, I'm learning something. And I feel that by the time Ali and I meet again, we hope late September, mm -hmm. I'll be tuned uh, and just ready for him. Congratulations on your victory tonight. Thank you, Howard. The third one's going to be a monster. <laughs> okay, that's Kenny Norton. Now, Kenny, as happened? we get back to our... What's happening, Ken? As we go back to our ringside position...